without an understanding, obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD can seem strange or even made up. You know, the rituals of hand washing, lining up the toys so they're all in this perfectly straight line or that endless process before you can walk out the door can leave you or your loved one exhausted. But I wanna show you the underlying neurological mechanisms behind OCD so that you can understand it and eventually overcome it. Hey, I'm Dr. Sam McDonald. I'm a brain health expert, and this channel is dedicated to helping you rewire your brain so that you can live a better life. If you love this content, make sure to like and subscribe so you get the notifications for each week's new video. So there's many different areas to consider when it comes to looking at the mechanisms of OCD, but the two areas I wanna focus on are the anterior cingulate cortex and the basal ganglia, specifically the right side of the basal ganglia or the side associated with the right cortex, specifically focusing on the indirect pathways. Now, if all that sounds like mumbo jumbo, don't worry, we'll dive in and make this as simple as we can. So first let's talk about the anterior cingulate. So this is a horseshoe shaped part of the brain that's right behind the frontal lobes, behind your eyebrows, deep in the brain. This part of the brain is really focused and specifically is activated for reward-based learning. And this is where this is gonna come into play for the obsessive compulsive piece because a lot of the fixations and a lot of the issues in terms of like having to do these processes over and over and over again comes from this lack of this reward center activating in the brain. So there's different brain reward cascades, but when it comes to this part of the brain, it's really activated when a a task or a challenge has been completed and thus, boom, you get that satisfaction of, hey, I finished something and it's done. Unfortunately, in the OCD brain, this part of the brain is not working well, meaning that the task never really is complete. It's never quite perfect enough. It's never quite finished, meaning that they never get that neural mechanism trigger, thus leading to the whole neurological chemistry cascade, leading to that sense of satisfaction. So thus the obsessive part is like, look, I have to do this, I have to keep repeating it, I can't stop because that thing has never been met. Now the second part of the brain that we wanna focus on is again, the basal ganglia, and this is the more indirect uh, pathways, indirect and hyperdirect, and these are more connected to the right hemisphere of the brain. Now the basal ganglia is responsible for a lot of different things. It's responsible for the suppression of unwanted movements and behaviors is the specific part because research used to only think that it was involved in movements, but behaviors and, and, and thoughts come into this as well, but also the suppression of that behavior of the lack of satisfaction. Thus, you know the, uh, the repeated things that come up or the obsessive types of behaviors that come up in OCD are gonna be responsive to this. So think about it this way. If you have two different sides to this neurological structure, one side is the go side, one side is the stop side. So the go side is more connected to the left part of the brain. It's more of the direct, what's called the direct pathways in the basal ganglia. And it's going to be active when we're achieving stuff, when we're doing things, when you're going, so to speak. Now the right side is gonna be more the inhibitory side where it's gonna turn stuff off. So think about it like this. If you're trying to complete a task, let's say washing your hands, the left side's gonna to have to activate and get the whole mechanism going, but the right side is gonna to have to activate at the end of the task when the brain signals, hey, it's time to be done with this, then the whole reward cascade can start because the activity has been completed. Now, it's also gonna be there in the suppression of you know, the unwanted behaviors or the lack of satisfaction that comes with that. That's where that whole reward piece comes in because the brain's saying, look, I completed something, cool, now we can be done and move on to this next part or the thought fixations on certain things. Well, hey, what about this? Or what can, what's gonna happen with this piece? What's gonna happen with this? What happens if this happens, right? That anxiety spiral that starts to happen. That all comes from that right side of the brain not being active or not being able to suppress those thoughts that are coming up, thus leading to that obsession uh, piece in the OCD moniker. So, so in order to overcome OCD, there's many different neurological mechanisms that need to be considered or evaluated to make sure that they're not also causing some of these other problems. Things like retained primitive reflexes, problems in the cerebellum with balance and coordination and the coordination of thought, as well as what's called functional disconnection, which is this is an imbalance in the way the brain shares information from the right side to the left side. So again, the right side is more connected to that indirect pathway or the stop side of the basal ganglia. Thus, if it's not working as well, meaning it's not functioning at the same rate as the left side, that's gonna cause 
or contribute to that decrease in function of that right side of basal ganglia. So the fact that the brain is imbalanced is gonna cause some of these underlying neuro neurological mechanisms to trigger, and thus they're not gonna work well. So you need to make sure the brain is balanced or functioning in a whole brain state, the brain's integrated in the best way that can, meaning that all these reflexes are now all connected or inhibited by the brain. And again, you're not stuck in more of a, a chronic fight or flight or sympathetic dominant state. All these will need to be considered when it comes to overcoming OCD. So on that note, you should be healthy by choice, not by chance. And for that reason, I will see you on the next video.